Hello everyone, greetings. I am Yan Bichaudhary, your English facilitator. Today we commence our exploration of Unit 4 in Class 10 English book titled Work and Leisure. I sincerely hope that each one of you will accompany me until the very end of this video. Getting started. Look at the activities shown in the picture below. Discuss why they are important. So the first picture depicts farming activities, especially farmers preparing the land for rice transplantation. In addition, women can be seen uprooting the rice seedlings for transplantation. Farming rice is important for us because rice is a very nutritious food that gives us energy. It is also a big part of our diet and helps our body grow strong and healthy. Rice farming also provides jobs for many people and helps to support our economy. Now let's talk about second picture. So the second picture is about education with a teacher guiding the students in their learning journey. Education is crucial because it provides individuals with knowledge, skill and opportunities for personal development and the progress of communities. Let's talk about third picture. The third picture captures a swimming pool bustling with people who are joyfully spending their leisure time swimming and having fun. Swimming is essential because it provides fun and numerous physical mental health benefits. The fourth picture shows two individuals hiking in mountainous areas enjoying and exploring the natural beauty. Hiking is important because it lets people enjoy nature, exercise their bodies and discover the advantage of breathing fresh air and exploring the outdoors. Now let's talk about reading one. So we have two questions. How do you often spend your leisure? So you can write the way of spending your leisure time. Question number B. Why do you think it is necessary to keep a balance between work and leisure? So answer is here. It is important to maintain a balance between work and leisure because it helps us stay healthy and happy. Working hard helps us achieve our goals and fulfill responsibilities while taking breaks and enjoying leisure activities, rejuvenate our mind and body, allowing us to have fun and explore our interests. So the title of the text is Cabbage White. Here Cabbage White is a butterfly that lays its eggs on cabbage and those eggs changes into caterpillars so you can see in the picture it is cabbage white a kind of butterfly sarah and jamie stood on their tiptoe and gave the card from their school to the tall man behind the counter of a farm so sarah and jamie both are brother and sister Sarah is 12 years old and Jamie is 11 years old. Sarah and Jamie are standing on their tiptoes to reach the tall man who is standing behind the counter at a farm. They are giving him a card from their school which is a sign that they are looking for work legally. The man frowned and made a face. So here the man's facial expression shows that he is not happy and pleased. He frowns and makes a face showing his dissatisfaction. So what meaning is given here? Tip 2 to walk or stand on the ball of the feet. Frown to make a facial expression indicating disapproval and tough, difficult or challenging. So you are looking for some work and who are you? So here the tall man asks Sarah and Jamie if they are searching for work. He also wants to know their names and who they are. I am Sarah, I am 12. This is my brother Jamie, he is 11. So Sarah introduces herself as a 12 years old and introduces her brother Jamie who is 11 years old. Shouldn't you be at school? The man asks Sarah and Jamie about why they are not in school. He wonders why they are not attending school as they should be. We are on holiday and would like to earn some money and support our parents. 
सो नाउ सारा एक्सप्लेन्स दैट दे आर ऑन हॉलीडे फ्रॉम स्कूल एंड दे वॉन्ट टू अर्न मनी टू सपोर्ट देयर पेरेंट्स दे हैव अ डिजायर टू हेल्प देयर पेरेंट्स फाइनेंशली द मैन लिफ्टेड हिज हैट एंड स्ट्रेस हिज हैट वर्किंग इन द फॉर्म इज अ क्वाइट टॉप जॉब फॉर किड्स लाइक यू I need somebody big and strong to work here," he said. So now the man responds by lifting his hat and scratching his head, indicating that he is thinking. He expresses his concern that working on the farm might be too challenging for children like Sarah and Jamie. He mentions that he needs someone big and strong to work on the farm. There must be some work for us in this big farm. Could you please find one? Sarah pleaded. So Sarah pleads or request with the man, expressing her belief that there must be some work suitable for them on the big farm. She requests him to help them find a job on the farm. And that's right. Let's see. Do you know what a cabbage white is? The man asks. So the man initiate a conversation with the children he then ask if they know what a cabbage white is yes it is a beautiful white butterfly that lays its eggs on cabbages and those eggs change into caterpillars answer sara so sara responds the man's questions by providing information about a cabbage white butterfly she mentions that it is a white butterfly that lays its eggs on cabbages and those eggs finally transform into caterpillars and do you know what the caterpillars do the man asks so the man continues the conversation by asking if the person is aware of what the caterpillars do he wants to explore their knowledge and understanding of the caterpillars behavior they eat the cabbage leaves shouted jamie Jamie shouted that she knew the answers to the man's question stating that the caterpillars eat the leaves of the cabbage are you afraid of caterpillars asked the man so here the man expresses his surprise and asks if sara and jamie are afraid of caterpillars or not not at all reported sara sara confidently responds the man stating that she is not afraid of caterpillars All right so i think i have a job for you the man accept their response and inform them that he has a task or job for them oh thank you very much and what is the work they said now children express their gratitude to the man and inquire about the nature of work i want you to check every single cabbage in the garden and eliminate all the caterpillars replied the man So here the farm man explains the job to Sara and Jamie stating that their task is to thoroughly inspect every cabbage in the garden and remove all the caterpillars eliminate means to remove er how wonder jamie so jamie expresses his confusion about how they should go about completing the task given by the man you pick them off and collect them So the man instructs Sara and Jamie on how to remove the caterpillars from the cabbage leaves. They are supposed to pick the caterpillars off and gather them together. Is it all right if we collect them in one of these pails? So Sara asks the man if it is acceptable for them to use one of the pails they have to collect the caterpillars. So pail is a container with an open top and handle used for carrying something. All right the man agrees to their suggestion of using the pail to collect the caterpillars how much will you pay us sara asked so sara inquires about the payment they will receive for completing the job let me see how you get on first if i am happy with your work i will not disappoint you with the pay i will be in greenhouse get started and i will see you later The man respond to Sara's questions about payment by stating that he wants to see their performance first. If he is satisfied with their work, he assures that he won't disappoint them with the payment. He informs them that he will be in the greenhouse and instruct them to begin the task indicating that he will check on them later. Shortly armed with a pail each the children approached the cabbage patch it was so enormous 
देर मस्ट बी अ बिलियन कैबेज देयर जेमी सेट द चिल्ड्रेन नाउ इक्विप्ड विथ अ पेल ईच अप्रोच द लार्ज कैबेज पैच जेमी कमेंट्स ऑन इट्स वास्ट साइज इस्टिमेटिंग दैट देयर मस्ट बी एन इनॉर्मस नंबर ऑफ कैबेज इज प्रजेंट एट लीस्ट सारा सेट एंड इफ देर आर टेन कैटर पिलर्स ऑन ईच कैबेज दैट मेक्स देयर अ बिलियन कैटर पिलर्स सो हियर सारा एड्स टू जेमिस इस्टिमेशन सजेस्टिंग दैट इफ देर आर टेन कैटर पिलर्स ऑन ईच कैबेज द टोटल नंबर ऑफ कैटर पिलर्स इन द पैच वुड बी इन द बिलियंस सारा स्टूड ओपन माउथ सारा वॉज सरप्राइज बाई हाउ मच वर्क देर वॉज टू डू सी हैड थॉट दैट पिकिंग ऑफ द कैटर पिलर्स वुड बी इजी बट इट लुक लाइक इट वुड बी अ लॉन्ग एंड डिफिकल्ट टास्क द जॉब लुक रियली टॉफ द टास्क ऑफ पिकिंग ऑफ द कैटर पिलर वॉज गोइंग टू बी वेरी डिफिकल्ट देर वेर अ लॉट ऑफ कैटर पिलर्स एंड दे वेर स्मॉल एंड हार्ड टू सी Jamie wondered about her arithmetics but knew better than to dispute. So here Jamie thought that Sara might have made a mistake when she calculated how many caterpillars there were. However, he did not want to argue with her, so he just kept working. They started on the first row of cabbages. It was really a hideous job. So Sara and Jamie started picking off the caterpillars from the first row of the cabbages. The job of picking up the caterpillars was extremely ugly and unpleasant. The caterpillars wriggled as they were picked up. So this line describes the behavior of caterpillars when Sarah and Jamie tried to pick them up. The word wriggle means to move with a twisting motion indicating that the caterpillars were wriggling while being handled. So this line describes the behavior of caterpillars when Sarah and Jamie tried to pick them up. The old wriggled means to move with a twisting motion indicating that the caterpillars were wriggling while being handled. This suggests that the caterpillars were active and trying to free themselves from being picked up, making the task of collecting them more challenging for Sara and Jamie. It took the two children ages to finish the first row and already they could not see the bottom of their pockets for caterpillars. So the line describes how long it took Sara and Jamie to complete the first row of cabbage plants. The phrase ages to finish indicate that it took them a significant amount of time. Additionally, it mentions that their pockets were filled with so many caterpillars that they could not see the bottom. This highlights the large number of caterpillars they encounter and the challenging nature of their task. and all around them the air was filled with cabbage white butterflies the insects seemed to be mocking them they seemed to be saying we don't care if you kill our caterpillars we can lay million of eggs and all around them the air was filled with cabbage white butterflies so sara and jamie were surrounded by cabbage white butterflies so the butterflies seemed to be teasing or making fun of the children They seem to be saying we don't care if you kill our caterpillars we can lay millions of eggs so the butterflies appear to be saying that they did not care if their caterpillars were killed because they could lay million of eggs to replace them Sara and Jamie were now very desperate desperate here it means hopeless so Sara and Jamie were feeling really down and hopeless about the situation. Kina bane unero jati samate pani kira arule tetti dherei matra ma phul pari rakhe ka thi. Sara stuck out a butterfly. She missed, of course. So Sara tried to hit a butterfly with hard hand. Unfortunately, she did not succeed in hitting the butterfly. She was it fly gaily away. Sara saw the butterfly flying happily away. Gaily here it means in cheerful way. Kira haru ekdam e khushi bhayera udi rakhe ka thie. Then she had an idea as brilliant in its way as Einstein coming up with e is equal to m c square. So Sara had a brilliant idea just like when the famous scientist Albert Einstein discovered his famous equation E is equal to m c square. 
बटरफ्लाई हरुले सिद्धावने सारा को दिमाग मा एकदम ए ब्रिलियंट आइडिया आऊँ छो। जैमी कैटरपिलर्स कम फ्रॉम एक्स राइट। सो सारा आस जैमी अ क्वेश्चन अबाउट व्हेर कैटरपिलर्स कम फ्रॉम। कैटरपिलर्स अंडा बाट आऊँ छो आई बने रचे जैमी लाई सारा ले सोधिन। He nodded at her remarks। Nodded बने को टाउ को हल्ला आया रा सामत्ति दिनु। जैमी agreed by nodding his head। जैमी ले कैटरपिलर्स अंडा बाटा नहीं आऊँ छो बने रा टाउ को हल्ला आया रा बने हो। And where do eggs come from? She inquired further। तीसो वे अंडा हरु कहाँ बाटा आऊँ छो? सारा आस जैमी where eggs come from? The butterflies lay them right, so she answered. The butterflies lay them right, so she reasoned. So Jamie answered that butterflies lay eggs. So she reasoned if we get rid of the butterflies, there won't be any more eggs or caterpillars. Sarah thought if they could remove the butterflies, then there would not be any more eggs or caterpillars. यदि उन्हें और लेचे बटरफ्लाइज़ ले हटा उन्हें सके बने त्याग कुने पनी अंडा आरु होते ना राइट जेमी एग्रीड हो हो बटरफ्लाइज़ ले हटा उन्हें सके बने अंडा होते ना अंडा भाई ना बने और को बटरफ्लाइज़ जन्मी देना सो व्हाई डोंट वी गेट रीड अप बटरफ्लाइज़ सारा सजेस्टेड दैट दे कुड ट्राइ टू गेट he asked, Jamie le so deo, butterfly vada kasar chhut kara pao ni. Nearby there were beans climbing up bamboo poles. So Sara noticed that there were beans, beans vane ko bondi, growing on bamboo poles closed by. Sara removed two poles to bean plants died. So Sara took two poles out of the ground and as a result, two bean plants attached to those poles died. सारा ले दूसरा बंबू त्याग बड़ा हटाएँ रजस को पढ़ा हम दूसरा बीन को प्लांट मरियो। She handed one of the poles to Jamie, so सारा gave one of the poles to Jamie, and then she rushed into the cabbage patch, swinging her pole round and round trying to hit the butterflies. Patch here it means the farm. सारा quickly went to the cabbage field. And started swinging her pole in an attempt to hit the butterflies. This seemed to Jamie like a good game, so he followed her. Jamie thought it was a fun game, so he joined Sara in swinging his pole too. Swinging mane ko fun funi gumaunu. It is not easy to hit flying butterflies, but it is not difficult to hit them when they settle on cabbage. So hitting butterflies while they are flying is challenging, but it becomes easier when they land on cabbages, when they sit on cabbages. Uli rahe ko butterfly lai marna dheere aptharo thiyo, tara uni aru cabbage ma basay ko bela haanna dheere nai sajilo thiyo. Ra cabbage ma basay ko bela baas le hirka hota kheri, eke sin ma ground bari nai butterfly dhe khiyo. They kept hitting butterflies and finally many butterflies died and fell to the ground. Sarah and Jamie fought on until they were completely exhausted. So Sarah and Jamie continued fighting the butterflies until they become very tired. Exhausted means tired. Then they stood back to admire their work. After they were done, they stepped back to look at what they had accomplished. There were hardly any butterflies left. There were hardly any cabbages left either. So the children had succeeded in getting rid of most of the butterflies. But unfortunately, they also damaged the cabbages in the process. Butterfly ta mare, tara butterfly marne krama cabbages pani rehena. It is difficult to hit a butterfly on a cabbage without hitting the cabbage too. So in this line, it is explained that hitting a butterfly that is sitting on a cabbage is not easy because when they try to hit the butterfly, they might also accidentally hit the cabbage. The line is telling us that hitting a butterfly without hitting the cabbage is a challenging task. 
सो एक्जास्टेड मिन्स टायर्ड एडमायर मिन्स प्रेस प्रशंसा कर सो द कैबेज पैच लुक लाइक अ बैटल फील्ड नॉट अ कैबेज वॉज लेफ्ट स्टैंडिंग द कैबेज पैच और यू कैन से फील्ड वॉज इन अ टेरेबल स्टेट विथ ऑल द कैबेज डिस्ट्रॉइड द चिल्ड्रेन लुक एट ईच अदर विदाउट अ वर्ड दे पुट डाउन द बम्ब पोर्स एंड टिप टूट आउट ऑफ द गार्डन हियर सारा एंड जैमी लुक एट ईच अदर एंड साइलेंटली डिसाइडेड टू लीव द गार्डन विदाउट स्पीकिंग दे पुट डाउन द बम्ब पोर्स एंड लेफ्ट क्वाइटली बम्ब पोल तैं राखे उन्नी हिड़े बच्चा एक अर् हे रही निकन बम्ब पोल ती राखे तैंट हिड़्न ही नोज आवर नेम्स जेमी सेट सो जेमी नोस दैट द टॉल मेन इन द गार्डन न्यू देयर नेम्स बट ही डजन नो हो एर वी लिव सारा सेट थैंक्स गुडनेस दे बोथ सेट सो सारा री एस्योर जेमी दैट द पर्सन इन द गार्डन डिड नॉट नो देयर एड्रेस एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दिस दे वेर वेरी हैप्पी एंड वेन्ट अवे फार्म को टल मंला उन्नीर को नाम तो ठा थो तर ती बच्चा कह बस् भरा उन्हीं रोरा बच्चा था पाए धीरे खुशी भर तैंब भागे सो नाउ लेट्स डू एक्सरसाइज ए मैच द फलोइंग मिनिंग इन लेफ्ट कॉलम विथ द करेक्ट वर्ड्स इन द राइट सो आई हेव रिटर्न आंसर हियर टू लव एट समी इन एन अनकांड वे दैट इज मॉक वेरी अनप्लिजेंट दैट इज हिडियस टू ट्विस्ट एंड टर्न बॉडी पार्ट अफ इट विथ क्विक सर्ट मोमेंट दैट इज रिगल इन अ चेयरफुल वे दैट इज गेली वेरी सरप्राइज और सॉफ्ट दैट इज ओपन माउथ टू अस्क फर समथिंग इन अ सीरियस एंड इमोशनल वे दैट इज प्लीड आग्रह रिक्वेस्ट कर टू मेक अ फेसियल एक्सप्रेसन इंडिकेटिंग डिसएप्रुवल दैट इज दैट इज फ्राउन टू आर्ग्यू आर डिसएग्री स्ट्रंगली विथ समबडी दैट इज डिस्प्यूट कंसल्ट आर डिक्शनरी एंड फाइंड द मिनिंग अफ द फलोइंग वर्ड्स रिलेटेड टू वॉकिंग सो ऑल द वर्ड्स गिवेन हियर दे आर रिलेटेड टू वॉकिंग एंड नाउ यू कैन राइट मिनिंग अफ दीज वर्ड्स आई हेव रिटर्न हियर दैट स्निक मीन्स टू वॉक क्वाइटली एंड स्टेल्थली स्ट्रॉल मीन्स टू वॉक इन लिजरली आर रिलैक्स मैनर लॉर्ड्स टू वॉक आर मूव सडनली एंड अनस्टेडली स्टैगर टू वॉक अनस्टेडली एज इफ अबाउट टू फॉल स्ट्राइक टू वॉक विथ लॉन्ग पर्पजफुल स्टेप्स एंड द लास्ट वन स्टम्बल मीन्स टू ट्रिप और लूज वंस बैलेंस वाइल वॉकिंग नाउ लेट सी एक्सरसाइज सी दैट इज आंसर द फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चन सो क्वेश्चन ए इज हियर वाई डू यू थिंक द मैन फ्रोन हिज फेस वेन सारा एंड जेमी गेव हिम देयर स्कूल कार सो द मैन फ्रोन बिकॉज सारा एंड जेमी वे आर लुकिंग फॉर वॉक इन स्टेड ऑफ बींग इन स्कूल विच मे हैव सीम अनयूजल फॉर द मैन सो यू कैन राइट अप टू हियर अनयूजल नाउ लेट सी क्वेश्चन नंबर बी सो बी इज हियर वाई वेर सारा एंड जेमी लुकिंग फॉर अ जब इन स्टेड ऑफ गोइंग टू स्कूल उन्नीर काम कि खोजते थे सारा एंड जेमी वेर ऑन हॉलिडे एंड वॉन्टेड टू अर्न मनी टू सपोर्ट देयर पेरेंट्स सो रिजन इज गिवेन हियर क्वेश्चन नंबर सी Why was the man ready to give them work in his farm? The man was willing to give them work because he saw their determination and knowledge about cabbage space. Cabbage space को बारे में उन्हें रुको knowledge है रे रा farm man ले उन्हें ले काम दिन था. What work were they supposed to do at the man's farm? Farm में उन्हें ले क्या काम करना पड़ने? They were supposed to check every single cabbage in the garden and eliminate all the caterpillars. क्या बच्चे चेक करें तैंको जति कैटर पिलर्स थे तिहला मार्न पर्ने अथवा तैंट हटा पर्ने वेर देर रियली अ मिलियन और बिलियन कैटर पिलर्स इन द कैबेज फील्ड इफ नट व्हाट डू सारा एंड जैमी मीन बाई मिलियन और बिलियन कैटर पिलर्स साँचे के तैं मिलियन अथवा बिलियन कैटर पिलर्स थे थे नन सारा रेमी ने भन्ना खोजे के देर वेर नट एक्चुअली अ मिलियन और बिलियन कैटर पिलर्स इन द कैबेज फील्ड सारा एंड जेमी मीन टू इम्फेसाइज द लार्ज नंबर अफ कैटर पिलर्स दे एक्सपेक्टेड टू फाइंड उन्नीर भन्ना खोजे धेरे मात्रा में कैटर पिलर्स तैं व्हाट वेर सारा एंड जेमी डेस्परेट अबाउट के को बारे में उन्नीर होपलेस निराश 
Sarah and Jamie were desperate because the task of removing caterpillars from the cabbage seemed overwhelming and never ending. Another question, question number G. What was Sarah's brilliant idea? So answer is here. Sarah's brilliant idea was to get rid of butterflies because if there are no butterflies, there won't be any more eggs and caterpillars. Were the children happy with their work? Give reasons for your answer. The children were not happy with their work because they ended up destroying all the cabbages in their attempt to get rid of the butterflies. Here. They ran away because they realized that the extent of the damage they had caused and were afraid of the consequences. Now let's see the number. Read the story and write true for true statement and false for false statement. If the information is not given in the text, so you write not given. That means NG. True sabane true lekne, false sabane false lekne, chai na bane, not given lekne. Number A. Sarah and Jamie's parents were unable to work to support the family. Your sentence is not given, so not given. NG. Sarah and Jamie have never been to school. This is false. Why did they come to school? The men decide to pay them upon the completion of their work. That is true. Sarah and Jamie had not expected to find so many caterpillars in the cabbage field. That is not given. NG. Sarah's idea finally worked to finish off their job. That's true. They were caught by the farm owner while running away. That's the false.